Great, thank you so much for having me. I think everyone in this room would agree when saying that health is one of the most important things in life. I think I only fully understood the meaning of that I think I only fully understood the meaning of that when my father was hospitalized in October 2015 due to an array of alarming symptoms. Doctors were not able to find out what he had, and the search for the right diagnosis continued over months. I remember that this experience really made me wonder if it is so difficult to find the right diagnosis in Germany with one of the most elaborated health systems in the world, what would have happened if my father would have been in his home country, Afghanistan, where even accessing basic primary healthcare services proved to be a major challenge? And this challenge is real. There's currently over 4 billion people that lack access to basic primary healthcare services all around the world due to a massive global shortage of over 8 million doctors worldwide. And the ones that do manage to have somehow access to healthcare neither necessarily experience efficiency nor can be any quality guaranteed with usually countless of hours spent in the waiting room to then end up with an average consultation time of, for instance, just two minutes in China here in a hospital. Um, and under these extreme circumstances, misdiagnosis can happen very easily uh, when there is no time to gather patient history very thoroughly. And this is not just a reality in China, but also in very established health systems. As you can see here, the NHS in the UK very much at its limits with its capacities. At ADA, we have made it our vision. We believe that everyone should have access to the health care they need and deserve. And how we want to do this is by by bringing the future of personalized healthcare to everyone. And how we're doing this, I want to show you briefly in this short video. There are 8,000 symptoms associated with over 12,000 diseases. I connect the data to help you find out what's going on. I'm Ada, the smartest AI in healthcare. The cost of healthcare is going up. I have no health insurance. Officials are warning of a major funding gap ahead. The way people interact and access healthcare is changing. Costs are exploding, doctors' time is imploding, and the number of GPs is decreasing. Everyone in the world deserves the right diagnosis. The way ADA works is there are 12,000 diseases out there. Imagine 12,000 puzzles, each puzzle consisting of 400 pieces. Put out three pieces and then ask ADA to which box do these three pieces belong. Symptoms and diseases are linked by probabilities, and ADA is able to solve the problem within seconds. Openness is the most important thing. You must not feel ashamed to give ADA this information, because the information is not judging. It's taking this information to find the right diagnosis. And ADA has no time pressure like the real doctor. ADA can take the family history, personal risk factors, lab tests from the past, and hand it over to the doctor in a standardized way. It does come across sometimes like you are talking to another person. This is demonstrated by some of the feedback that ADA users have provided. In the future, artificial intelligence and doctors work together to solve the problem. can save a huge amount of money for healthcare systems, but also quality of life. And what is more important than that? Great, so you've seen just here an overview of what we're doing, of how we're doing that. And all of that, what you saw here is the ADA app, but we started actually eight years ago with a lot of research and development, and initially starting out as wanting to build a clinical decision support tool for doctors to help them uh, with taking better informed decisions and getting closer to finding the right diagnosis. And uh, for that, we started out with a huge team of um, doctors, engineers, AI experts, roughly 
roughly eight years ago, um, building what we call our medical reasoning engine. So that is essentially building a system that is putting, uh, is a probabilistic system that is putting thousands of symptoms, linking them with over thousands of conditions, and finding a way to compute all of these complex symptom constellations within minutes. Um, and we've done that through the, through the first clinical um, interfacing for doctors um, before we then said two years ago we can actually make the solution available also to people all around the world. And one example how this exactly works, how is Ada able to support with taking better informed decisions uh, is here actually. You can see... No, there it is. This is actually a review from one of our users. Um, so what you can see here is that we had a user using the ADA app who said, I went to the doctor, I had severe pain. The doctor sent me home, home again saying that I have an acute gastritis. Um, I, my pain was so severe that I downloaded ADA, starting using it to just get some guidance on what to do and found actually that ADA sent, said, Said, please send me immediately to the uh, emergency care, because as you can see here, this example, um, especially when it comes to conditions that are, the symptom constellation is quite close, and it's difficult to differentiate, we provide here a very clear overview showing what is the positive evidence pointing towards the condition and what's the negative evidence, which you can see here with the green lines, positive and with the red lines, the negative evidence, and by that showing very transparently why in that case this is pointing more to an acute appendicitis and uh, what action is necessary to take here. So where are we, how are we helping today, what, what's our, the state of our solution? So we have currently, since we launched the ADA app roughly two years ago, we've been overwhelmed with very positive feedback and quite, uh, uh, quite a rapid user growth and global acceptance, what we currently see with over 6 million users all around the world that are using ADA, over 10 million completed health assessments, and we're also rated as the best medical app on over 130 countries. And what you can see here, and you've also seen it in the video, is that in the consumer-facing version, it starts with really uh, ADA asks you about your presenting complaint and then goes on asking more and more and more until she has collected enough evidence to provide you with guidance on what next step to take. In addition to just taking reported symptoms into account, Ada is also asking about your risk factors, your medical history, to be able to guide you in a very tailored way, in a very highly personalized way, what next step to take. And that might be in some cases you know, it's complete, it might be just the case of a flu where seeking a pharmacy is completely fine or more complex and severe cases where directing immediately to emergency care is, is relevant. And uh, the, the bigger task here is really being able to know what does the individual need at which point in time in their respective location. And actually, I'm And all of that you can see kind of starting out from clinical decision support to then move over with a consumer facing version. At the end of the day, this is really an end to end system that can help close the gap by supporting individuals, supporting healthcare workers, and all their overall interactions. So, on the one hand, this allows to increase overall access through AI and mobile technology, but also allow by connecting users more effectively with the health system for much more efficiency at a certain scale without compromising medi any medical quality, but actually overall improving medical quality throughout this process. So you can imagine Ada as a digital front door to primary healthcare with your first interaction, but that is accompanying you and guiding you effectively through the system. So what's our impact? Where are we today? So sorry. There we are. So I've mentioned already the 6 million users all around the world, but what we can see particularly is huge uptake also in resource limited settings. So that is roughly uh, almost one third of our user base is in low and lower middle income countries. 
just in India alone, we see that one million people have started using the app. Uh, and that is quite motivating, when it, because when we see all these massive health disparities, there's a lot that we can do to overall mitigate that and support people in getting much better access to care. Um, Ada is already available in five languages that you can see, and we're launching Ada soon as well, also in Swahili, to make even, um, in, for East Africa, make our, make our solution more available to more people. And um, we've learned a lot from, these, from this user base, and particularly in low and lower middle income countries, we can see one pattern is that people are not just using ADA for themselves, but also actually for others. So a lot of the reviews is roughly 150,000, but some of them, one of them was from a user in Kenya who said, I work in a drug shop dispensary every day. I have people come in that seek medical advice from me. I am not equipped or well trained enough to give that out. So I started using ADA to help people and guide them where they need to be. This really got us thinking and saying, we can actually use our solution to upskill semi-skilled health workers, particularly in these resource-limited settings, because the shortage is so, so, um, so huge when it comes to healthcare workers that actually to be able to provide more people with better care, completely new forms of healthcare delivery, we have to be enabled. And AI play, can play a huge, huge component in upskilling people to be able to deliver quality care. And no matter where you are, whether that's in a high income setting or in a low income setting, actually there is also 350 million people globally that suffer from rare diseases. And especially when it comes to this, as another example of impact, they're very complex symptom constellations, very difficult to identify. Um, we have um, a recently peer reviewed study found that ADA is able to detect in over 80% of cases the right condition when it comes to a rare disease, and not just detecting with a higher accuracy what is going on, but actually in over 56% of cases, ADA is able to identify the right condition earlier in time, which means, of course, reducing a whole lot of patient suffering by being able to earlier identify what's going on and then to provide better treatment, but also actually through that, saving a whole lot of cost for the system. So this is just a starting point. Where there's still a lot more that we need to do, um, especially when it comes to making the solution more meaningful in the respective settings all over the world. It requires a lot of collaboration, whether that's with government, with uh, with with uh, civil society, with the medical community, to be able to leverage all the power of this solution and really provide a link and effectively. Uh, provide a new AI-powered infrastructure to deliver healthcare. And all of this is the future, the future that we really believe in is not a future where good health implies merely an absence of disease, but good health actually really means that in a highly personalized way, you're we're able to support people to become actually agents of their own health, to proactively manage their health, so that everyone can really fully reach their potential. Thank you very much.